Your business is not gonna go anywhere if your team and your employees, this falls into the leadership spectrum. If they're disengaged, we have to focus on getting our teams to that income level and 450,000 a year. So I don't know how many Americans are making that. Ask yourself, do you make that kind of money? How engaged can this person be with these type of problems? They don't make enough money. So they're not focused on your business. They're focused on surviving. So if your team is having problems making money, well, guess what? It's your problem too. People aren't just disengaged, they're defeated financially. Hey guys, Mike Martinez here. Super, super excited to teach you how to run a business at 10x levels. What's the number one problem in your business? If you have a business, if you're looking to start a business, what's gonna be your number one problem? The number one problem is gonna be people. People are gonna be your problem. What's the number one problem for your people in your business? It's money. Money is their number one problem. What's the number one cause of disengagement in a business? Your business is not gonna go anywhere if your team and your employees, this falls into the leadership spectrum. If they're disengaged, you're not gonna accomplish anything and your business is gonna fail. Or if it doesn't fail, it's not gonna find massive success. So the number one cause of disengagement for your team is financial defeat. Why is there financial defeat? 63% of households live paycheck to paycheck. 52% of households earn $75,000 a year. Now guys, look, I'm in California. California has a reputation of being an expensive state to live in. Uh, it's even worse to do business in this freaking state. 10% of Americans collect 50% of all income. 90% of the people have 50% of the income that's floating around. Only 10%, which is mainly business owners, are the Americans that collect 50% of all the income that's out there. 58% of Americans have less than $5,000 in their bank accounts. So your people aren't just disengaged, they're defeated financially. Only two groups winning, everyone else is losing the finance game. Their problem becomes your problem. So if your team is having problems making money, well, guess what? It's your problem too, because their problems become your problems. So we have to get into um, the top tiers of income, which is $250,000 a year. We have to focus on getting our teams to that income level and 450,000 a year. So I don't know how many Americans are making that. Ask yourself, do you make that kind of money? And if you do and you wanna be a business owner or you are a business owner, what are you doing to help your team produce this kind of personal income for themselves? $250,000 a year to $450,000 a year. So how much money does your employee need to get by? Let's do some math here. Income. We said that the average person makes 75,000 a year. Expenses are 60,000 a year. Taxes are 12,000 a year. So their net positive is 3,000 a year. Zero money saved, zero money invested. How engaged can this person be with these type of problems? They don't make enough money. So they're not focused on your business. They're focused on surviving. So Grant Cardone's principles to handle employee financial problems. Here we go. I got some uh, principles and solutions for you. Never solve other people's financial problems. Never loan employees money. When you hire, explain the salary to do your job and a bonus structure to go beyond. Provide opportunities, programs for employees to solve their financial problems. So you're not solving their financial problems, you're helping them solve their own financial problems. Educate employees on their financial situation. 
create reward programs that are optional opportunities for people to engage. Only spend time with those who engage and want to change their condition. Share the successes openly of those who engage the programs. Continue to create products and services that your people can use to increase income. So there's a wealth creation formula. So you go from an eight hour job to a revenue opportunity to store the difference. Store the difference is to find out basically uh, uh, how much money you need to save in order to invest it. Then to invest it. Invest it in yourself and invest it in your business. I spent over $1.2 million already on investing in myself, on education, on masterminds, on trainings, on events, on books, on programs. I've invested a lot of money. I've also invested a lot of money in my businesses. I've invested in real estate. Create multiple flows of income. So as mentioned, I have three companies. Uh, one of my companies has separate arms. So I have uh, my biggest revenue generating operation is debt collections. I have a massive debt collection agency and I have a smaller one that I just launched a few months ago that's scaling very, very fast. So our first month in business, we did $11,000 of revenue. Our second month, we did 22,000. Our third month, we did 33,000. And then this month, our target, and it looks like we're gonna meet our target, is $76,000. Next month, we're gonna do 140,000. So you see how fast my business is scaling. By December, that, that company should be doing $300,000 a month in revenue. So you have to have multiple flows of income. I also own a real estate investment company where we wholesale and flip houses. And then I also own a uh, skip tracing company where we offer services to provide phone numbers to real estate investors. So I have multiple incomes. Increase those flows. So once you figure out what, how you're gonna generate the income, you wanna increase the flow of, of income that comes not only through those, but when you feel that they're stable enough and you've already uh, established it to where it can run without a lot of your attention, then you're able to create other flows of income. Invest assets other than your business. So real estate. Real estate's not my business. I buy real estate. That's an asset. Increased number of income flows. Then you look at other avenues for making more money once they've all been stabilized. So that's the wealth creation formula.